Cancer, the central theme of your reading today is the angel of love. You may have just had a baby. Congratulations if you did. Or there's a brand new love in your life. We're going to find out. I'm going to draw four cards, one for each week of September. And then at the end, you're definitely going to want to stay for this. I'm going to draw 12 cards, one for each for each sign, all the way from Aries to Pisces, and see what your relationship is with all of them. My name's Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Let's get started with your reading, Cancer. I'm so excited. Come with me, and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Welcome to your reading, Cancer. So this is your central theme. I have the Angel of Love. And then this is your masculine energy. And these are all four weeks. This is uh, first week of September, second, third, and fourth week of September. This is what's in your heart. And I have only been bringing out one card. But for some reason, I, if I felt like I had to clothe your heart with like this paisley. I, I, Spirit just told me I had to do that. Your, your heart had to be clothed. This is your feminine energy. These are the central themes of Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. I'm adding them all up for Pisces at the end as a special. Over here, we have any additional messages that Spirit wants. And over here, we have all 12 of the zodiac signs in your particular relationship with them. We have Aries, Pisces, um, all of them, all 12. So if you're thinking about a special person, know their sign, and then I'll have your answer over here in this section. When I think about cancer, I was actually raised by a cancer. My grandfather was a cancer man. My brother is a cancer son with a Scorpio moon. Um, so the masculine energy, I know a lot of, can my ex-boyfriend was a Cancer, because I'm a Pisces. I'm Pisces Sun, Ascendant, Venus, and Mars, and then I have a Moon in Gemini. So I know quite a bit of Cancer men. Cancer women, I've never really gotten along with. Like, we'll start out as friends for like a minute, but it just... I've never had a deep, personal, close bond with a cancer woman. Uh, I know quite a few. I went to high school with a few. My uh, dad is with one right now. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a few cancer women that I'm thinking about whenever I pulled these cards. So let's get started on your reading. All right, so the central theme of your reading is the angel of love. Uh, you may have just had a baby or you're birthing something new into existence and it's causing a lot of love. It's coming straight from your heart. In your heart, um, I was told to clothe it in this paisley. There's so many different directions here. It's like you want me put off balance. You don't want me to see what's inside. And I don't feel like you're ready for me to take the, clo the clothing off to see what's inside of your heart. This is a shield. This is a shield. I don't read these in reverse. Sisterhood of the Rose. Taurus got this. Beauty and devotion. Priestess. Mystic teacher. This is Venus. This is spirituality. This is the angel of love coming through again. This is the third time the angel of love have, has came through. Love and beauty and romance. There's so much emotion here. There's a beautiful family. 
I see you firmly set in the present and you're equally balanced between the past and the future. I, I feel like everything is very balanced for you right now. Yeah, right there's confirmation. There's the crab. I just saw the crab as confirmation. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I feel very balanced. I feel like there's a lot of um, support around you right now and a lot of love. I feel a lot of love and support. Yeah, look at the little girl. Oh, she's so pretty. Look how happy. This is a happy family. Everyone's playing. Oh, look at the little dog. This is this is a completion. You've made it. Congratulations. Oh, this is so happy. This is like one of the best cards that you can get. You're financially stable here. You're balanced. You're on the right life path. This is the um, tree of life with the Kabbalah. And it's balanced. Everything is equally balanced. And then we have the flower of life, reproduction. Um, there's something very stable, and you've just you've came to a completion. Everybody is very very happy here. Yeah, I see you ascending to a higher level. You're actually coming out of this confusion, of this fog, and you're regaining your balance here. And you're, you're, you're seeing things that you didn't want to see before. And it's causing you to grow. And it's inspiring you. You're being blessed during this month. This month is a blessing. There's a lot of blessings here. I see you looking at the past and you're holding on. This is unhealthy. Um, there was a lot of blessings at the beginning. And you're really holding on tightly to all of them. And you're not letting them go. And it's causing an instability. It's causing... It's like you're holding something back that you, you want to express. Wow. There's like a split here. I feel torn. I feel... I feel very um, in pieces. It's like the world is here and everything is balanced and fair, but still there's a split. There's a split. There, you're exactly where you need to be. Yeah, you're exactly where you need to be. This is mirroring this card. They look alike to me with the triangles. The equal balance. Justice. We could be dealing with a Libra here. There's, there's some definite Libra energy in this reading. Um, the goddess of love and beauty rules over Libra. We have the angel of love. We have the sisterhood of the rose. Venus is definitely coming out in this reading a lot. I'm seeing eagles. I'm seeing a lot of strength here. And I see that you're coming out of your shell. The crab that's coming out of his shell. Or her shell because this is a feminine energy. Look, there's a path here. Oh, there you are. You're not here in the past anymore. The past, it, it led you. It led you to where you are right now. And you're heading into the future. You're he you look at you over here. And you're looking here at the future. And everything is fair, just, and balanced. And this is exactly where you need to be. And right here, you're looking at the future. I mean, you're trying to juggle everything. You're you're attempting to juggle everything, but it, there's it. Now, see, to me, this looks like justice, but it's not. It's the two of materials. It also looks like the hanged man, which is a change in perspective. A Pisces. 
but this is pentacles this is earth um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn and there's a cycle this cycle that kept happening in the past and I see you dropping it in the future whatever this cycle is you're dropping it in the future. You're looking at the future and you're dropping these cycles of the past and you're ascending because you have the angel of love here. You have a new love that's coming in and you've already completed what you needed to complete. You've come full circle and you're very happy and you have a very stable home life. You're holding on. You're a little bit paranoid about losing that, but you have a lot of support and I see you very like balanced balance is a big part of this reading like that's one of the biggest uh love and balancing those are the two biggest things that i'm getting so far in this reading <sighs> you're sitting there and you feel so trapped inside you're not look she doesn't have any any bound she's not really bound but inside she feels like all of this communication everything's coming at her and it's coming at her and she she feels bound she's looking in her mirror and she feels very bound hopeless there's a there's a hopeless feeling there like we can't move forward Things are a little bit overwhelming. Oh, well, remember the dog? Do you rem remember the dog from right here? Where you were so happy at the beginning of the month? Well, here's the dog, and you're not holding on to this. You know, you've aged. This was your buddy. This was your pal. And you're letting go. You're not holding on to these memories anymore. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. Yeah, you're coming out of toxicity. You're stepping out. You're taking your power back. You're not letting things, ideas, people, you're not letting this feeling inside burden you any longer. You know what's truly in your heart. You're not going to cover it up. You're going to expose it. And you're going to stand in your beauty and be the angel of love. And your heart is on fire and your intuition is spot on and you're going to come out of this illusion I see you walking away I see you walking away you have a lot of possibilities here and I see that you're on the right path. You're on the right path. And this is bringing a lot of emotional fulfillment. And everything that I see is wrong is actually an internal battle. It's in your head. It's not external. All right, so we're gonna do the um, all the way from Aries to Pisces coming up next. Okay, now we're going to be doing all the way from Aries to Pisces, Cancer. So let's start with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, I see that they're drinking a lot, or you are. Um, there could po There's a potential of growth in the future, but right in, in the present, I don't see anything happening. I see that the glass is empty. Um, in the past, they wine, they dined you, or you did them, and it was harmonious um, there is a lack of communication here massive lack of communication but I do see that there's a potential of growth in the future and there could be a potential of um, over drinking 
if you're dealing with a Taurus, I don't see any growth here. I, I see that there's like a psychic bond. But I do see that you're coming out of conflict. Um, there is conflict in the past. But now I see that things are rebalancing themselves. But I don't see a very stable foundation here. I see that in the past you were building it. But there was a blockage. There was a blockage. And now there's like an illusion. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like an illusion here. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I see that you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, or they do. There's an incompletion here. A cycle hasn't ended. It needs to, so something new can can blossom. But as of right now, I feel like you're trapped. You're there. There's a, there's a sense of being trapped here. So we did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. If you're dealing with another Cancer, I see that like you're going out and socializing. You're coming out of your shell. Um, you're out of this period of isolation, and I see a lot of like social gatherings together. Um, I see a lot of purity here. There's a lot of um, future planning and uh, I, I do see a lot of communication here and I do see a psychic bond with another cancer now if we're gonna do Leo yeah there's secrets here um, things aren't always being revealed there's lies you see that penis on the cheek I see that it is cheating. Somebody could possibly be cheating here. Um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you're very in your element here. Um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. This card is also ruled by Mercury. It's typically ruled by Gemini, which is co-ruled by Mercury. But this can also stand for Virgo. And since we're speaking about a Virgo, this would make perfect sense. I see this as real love, true love, a beautiful love, very passionate romance. I see this blossoming, and I do see a future here with a Virgo. We're dealing with a Libra. I see that there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of looking at the past with the Libra. There's a lot of beauty in the past. There could possibly be children with a Libra for some of you, but not all of you. But I do see a lot of love. I see a lot of like a spiritual connection, and I see a lot of history and nostalgia. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I see that there's there's judgment here. It's almost come to a completion. There's a, one more thing that you need to learn from a Scorpio for you to be able to graduate to the next level and start something new. Um, so you are currently in a cycle with a Scorpio. Um, I see that there's divine blessings and there's hope. There's a period of rebalancing. And I see... I see a rebirth. I do. And I see hands open to receive all of this beauty that's being given from a Scorpio. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, this is an emotional manipulator. Yeah, this person is definitely not good for you. This is a psychopath. Uh, this is someone who does not have your best interest at heart. That's going to use your emotions to manipulate you. 
Yeah, I would stay as far away from this person as I could possibly. And this person drinks way too much. This is an absolute alcoholic. This is a horrible, horrible person. Stay away from the Sagittarius. All right, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Oh, this person is such a sweet talker. Oh my God, this is a ladies man. This person is going to conquer your emotion. They're going to come in and they're going to whine and dine you and they're going to say all the right things. But you know what? It's a knight. It's a groom. Well, this is a groom. In and out. This isn't very mature energy this isn't very mature with their emotions but boy do they know what to say and what to do and uh yeah this person has no problem spending money on you to wine and dine and take you out um but it, it's just to conquer and then they're on to the next emotional conquest all right if we're dealing with an aquarius um this person is very nurturing, very motherly, um, could be a little bit on, on the overweight side, um, likes to party, likes to drink, uh, will really listen to your problems, and is always there for you, very nurturing, very nurturing. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're not really there. <laughs> like there's an illusion here and there's a lot of promises about the future, but they're not physically there. Like the, the promises are all wishy-washy and there's a change in perspective. Um, definitely a change in perspective. I, I do see a lot of healthy growth with the Pisces, but I don't see them being fully there for you, being fully invested in this because there's a change of perspective. All right, so Cancer, that is your September reading. I hope that you received the messages that you needed to. Have a wonderful September.